Hello and welcome to my channel, Homemade Mathematics. My name is Sierra and today I'm going to be showing you how you can use the game War to practice your math skills. Today I will be showing you two different versions. The first version is very similar to the original game of War, which we'll be practicing our comparing. The second version will actually be practicing adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. With either of these games, just like my last one, Go Fish, you can use whole numbers or integers, depending on where your skill is. All you need is a deck of cards, and actually the paper and pencil is optional this time. You always have the option to make your own deck of cards as well, so you actually don't need that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the original version of War and how we can use that to practice comparing. The original game of War is a two-player game where you both flip over a card, and whoever has the card with the higher value gets to keep those cards. You keep playing until you have gone through the whole stack and whoever has the most at the end is the winner. So you might be thinking, cool game, but what does this have to do with math? Let's take a look at how we can change these cards into numbers. As you can see, we can easily turn these cards into numerical values. So I have our ace being 1, 2 through 10 being 2 through 10, and then you can kind of play around with what you want your face cards to mean. I've done it where it's 11, 12, and 13, and I've also done it where jack and queen are 10 and king is 0, but you can make those cards whatever you want. Now how we make this comparing integers is by using the black cards as our positives and the red cards as our negatives. So let's see how this game would look if we play it with integers. So here I'm flipping over a negative 7 and my partner flipped a positive 2. Positive's always going to be bigger than a negative, so he won. Here I have a negative 3, and my partner has a negative 2. But with negatives, our negative 2 is actually going to be the bigger one. So again, he won that one. Here I flipped a negative 1, and my partner flipped a negative 4, which again, negative 1 is going to be bigger than negative 4. Another great way to use this game is to compare fractions. So now you're going to flip two cards, one on top, one on bottom. So the fraction I have here is four-fifths, and it's positive since they're both black. My partner is going to do the same. He flips over a positive six and a negative nine, so that would be a negative six-ninths, which would simplify to negative two-thirds. So a positive four-fifths is bigger than a negative two-thirds, so I won that one. And then here I have a negative three-fourths, and my partner has a negative one-twelfth. So normally you'd say three-fourths is larger, but since they're negatives, my partner is actually going to win um, because a negative one-twelfth would be larger. Now the second version of war, I came up with many names for it. Math war, four operations war, war math edition. But basically, I decided let's just call it War 2.0. So now, instead of playing one card and comparing whose is larger, you are going to be playing two cards. And you and your partner are going to decide on what the operation is for that game. So maybe the whole time you play it as addition. Maybe you play it as subtraction, multiplication, or division. That is up to you. Now remember, when flipping your cards, the order does matter, but only for a couple of circumstances. Go ahead and pause the video and see if you can think of which operations and why it would matter the order that I flip the cards in. So if you've gone over your operations and your properties, you should know that with addition and multiplication, the order does not matter. 2 plus 3 is going to be the same as 3 plus 2. 2 times 3 is going to be the same as 3 times 2. However, it does matter when it comes to subtraction and division. 3 minus 2 is not the same as 2 minus 3. 3 divided by 2, also not the same as 2 divided by 3. So the order does matter, so make sure you're keeping track of which card you flip first and which you flip second. Then once you and your partner have both done the math, you're going to decide whose is greater. Just like regular war, that's your winner. They take the cards. Let's take a look at war 2.0 in action. 
Another way to play is to take turns on what operation you're doing, which is what you're going to see us do here. So starting with addition, we have a negative 9 plus a positive 6, which would get us negative 3. And then my partner has a positive 12 plus a negative 13, which would get us negative 1. A negative 1 is going to be bigger than negative 3, so my partner won. Here I'm having negative 13 and negative 6, which would get me negative 19. My partner has a positive 7 and a negative 8, again getting him negative 1, so he won again. Now we're doing subtraction. So we have 10 minus 12, which would get us negative 2. My partner flips over negative 10 minus negative 10, which if you have minus a negative, that actually just turns into a positive. So negative 10 plus 10 gets him 0. Wow, I didn't realize how bad he beat me in this. All right, here I got 4 minus 9, so negative 5. My partner has negative 7 minus a joker, which he can make whatever he wants. So he made it a negative 100 because negative 7 minus negative 100 would really be plus 100. Now moving on to multiplication, I have a positive 5 times a negative 5, which a positive times a negative gets me negative 25. My partner flipped over a positive 11 times a negative 12, which would get negative 132. So a negative 25 is going to be bigger than negative 132. So I finally won one. Another multiplication, we have negative 11 times negative 4. A negative times a negative gets me a positive 44. My partner has 3 times 5, which is 15. Close, but not quite close enough. I won again. And then lastly, division. But why am I setting it up like this? All right, you may know division is actually the same as a fraction. So this game's actually going to be the same as our comparing fraction games. His positive is going to be bigger than my negative fraction. All right, last example here. Have a positive 8 divided by joker. So I decided to make that a positive 1 because 8 over 1 would be a positive 8. And then negative 7 over 2 would be negative 3.5. So I won. As you can see, this could be a great beginner game for someone starting to practice comparing or the four operations with integers or whole numbers. This game is quite a bit easier than my first game I posted, Go Fish. In both versions of War, you're flipping over the cards and that's how you choose, whereas in Go Fish, you're having to actually pick those cards and put them together. So if this is too easy for you, go ahead and check out that game. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you tried it out, comment down below how you played. Or if you have any requests for what you would like to see next, please comment those down below as well.